we are here today to launch the EU uh, fund for small and medium enterprises to the tune of uh, 52 uh, million euros. It is indeed a pleasure for me to formally announce and launch the day together with uh, Her Excellency the Minister for the Development of Small Business, uh, uh, Madam uh, Zuru, uh, uh, the employment promotion through small, medium and micro enterprise support program for South Africa. Yes, we have worked with the department firmly to put a 50 million euro worth program together to give uh, critical support to the small medium enterprise sector. A lot of that was explained, but the big game changer I would believe is that the bulk of money goes actually into better access to finance for small medium enterprise and entrepreneurs. And the second big game changer I would believe is that it's uh, capitalizing on the big uh, unexploited uh, area of agribusiness notably and mineral beneficiation. And uh, as this opening has uh, shown, we get tremendous uh, support and traction. Having this money in support of SMMEs and ensuring that we prepare SMMEs to be ready, they can be competitive so that they can be able to take advantage of both local opportunities and also international opportunities. So we have to make sure that our small and medium enterprises step up to be competitive enough so that the European Union can also become a market uh, for them. The challenges that we face in the country relates to the issue of unemployment. So when you give people opportunity to start their own businesses, to grow, to expand, uh, it helps them to create jobs. By so doing, it helps the economy of the country really to grow and to develop. The fund will focus on access to finance, capacity building for various industries like mining, um, agriculture, and many other industries that we're looking into. I'm excited about this morning, you know, the launch of any fund that seeks to help entrepreneurs and uh, supported by two ministers, you know, it tells you that government is putting all the might and weight uh, behind the success. It's for us and the government of course and our technical experts to make it work, to create more jobs and to help that the young the youth of South Africa has a better perspective for the future. I'm very, very excited about how things have gone today. As you can see from the turnout, we've got hundreds of people that wanted to be here with us today. I, I see a lot of enthusiasm by South Africans for this type of support. And more and more, I value the relationship between the EU and South Africa because I think we are focusing in the right areas. As you know very well, the apartheid legacy has left a lot of challenges in the country and even 24 years after democracy they still high, high unemployment and poverty. Because if, when the money does reach entrepreneurs, it means more people get jobs. If more people have jobs, there's more money into the fiscus in terms of taxes, and then there's more money coming back and therefore funding more entrepreneurs. We're very excited about having unlocked this 52 million euro fund to promote employment through SMMEs. You will remember that in the State of the Nation, even the President said that it's SMMEs who will be the engine of this, this new economy that we must create. You heard the Commissioner also say that 90% of the businesses in Europe are small businesses. We are aspiring to what the National Development Plan says. It says if we do all of the right things, then this economy will grow at 5% per annum. There will be 11 million jobs, 90% or 9 million of which will come from small businesses. I think that our businesses must be, must be patient with us and come to us with very really plausible ideas. And it can happen. What we, we, what we know and we can say, it is a 52 million uh, euro facility over a period of five years. 30 million of that will be in the form of finance that will be managed by CIFA. For us as CIFA, we are so pleased, we are so excited uh, to be associated with this, uh, with this launch and in particular with this program because we are the funding agency, we are the implementing agency. Uh, you would have listened to the Minister of, uh, of Finance in particular, as well as our Minister of Small Business, when they're mentioning about the fund in terms of what is expected to do uh, going forward. So we are receiving 30 million uh, euros. Out of that money, we will be supporting uh, small businesses in a number of areas. 
This fund is expected to support uh, businesses that are in an area of what is called the IPEP, the industrial uh, uh, programs, uh, agro uh, processing. Uh, you look at the renewable energies kind of space, and you look at uh, areas that can be able to create jobs in the country. So for us, really, we can't wait for August when the actual time of implementation. I am very, very excited, and it's great for, for us to be associated with this event for the, for the launch. The launch, in my view, has been a success. Uh, quite a number of people in attendance, and I, this goes to show that um, people are looking for, for support. People are entrepreneurs out there. Entrepreneurs come, in, come here in large number for them to seek to understand what is this program all about, how this uh, unemployment um, uh, promotion program is going to help them, for them to be able to grow their own businesses. So we can't wait. I'm very excited. So I'm very, very excited. I mean, I think it was an awesome, awesome uh, launch this morning. Today has been a very beautiful day, auspicious moment for us, the celebration especially with our primary beneficiaries being here to witness what is in store for them. In my discussion with the Commission on Development, Rebecca, earlier uh, today, I have reiterated our appreciation to the EU for its significant contribution to addressing some of our fundamental developmental challenges, and we look forward to a stronger relationship. We believe that by helping businesses to become real levers uh, of a sustainable and inclusive change, we will contribute to building the non-racial, non-sexist, democratic and prosperous society that South Africa aspires for. I thank you for your attention and thank you very much for being together with us today for this important launch.